Horror and heartbreak. On Valentine's Day, new documents in the Barra Ona child abuse and murder case surfaced tonight. They detail the scene that unfolded February 14th when police and paramedics rushed to this spot along I-95 in West Palm Beach. What they found marked the beginning of a case sparking outcries for change and how we protect our most vulnerable children. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank reports on the new information released today. It seems like the only thing investigators knew when they responded to the red pest control truck on the side of the highway was that they'd never seen anything like it. One of the first police officers on scene testified that after he gave the car a once over, banging on the glass and noticing the ignition was still on, he put his hands against the window and saw, quote, little eyeballs looking back at me. And he said, whoa, what's going on? He found a shivering child soaked in chemicals, who we now know was 11-year-old Victor Barraona. The officer told the boy it would be okay, but noticed the boy's legs weren't working right and that he seemed unaware of what happened to him. A cakey white substance was on the boy's mouth and he was chewing pink pills. First responders testified that they didn't recognize the smell of the chemical that was on Victor, only that it hit one of them in the face when the door was opened. Rescuers also describe how Victor pointed to where his father was lying down, outside the car on the grass, and sketched the scene on a piece of paper. Responders say that Jorge Barahona was unconscious. Documents say that the scene was the culmination of months of abuse of Victor and his sister Nubia. Teachers told prosecutors that the girl would come to school unbathed and smelling like feces. The discovery at the side of the highway and the testimony found in more than 500 pages of documents led prosecutors to charge Victor and his wife Carmen Barahona with the death and torture of their two adoptive children. Evan Axelbank, WPTV, News Channel 5.